This segment sponsored by Ronald McDonald House. I am at the Ronald McDonald House Charity of Northeast Indiana, and they are celebrating 25 years of providing support, care, and housing to families with ill children in the hospital. I am so excited to be here to tour the facility and learn more. Come on. Joining me now is Jen Veach. She is the CEO of this Northeast Indiana Charity Chapter. Hi, Jen. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Good, thank you for inviting me into your home, your yes. house, the Ronald McDonald yes. House. Please share with us all about this organization yeah. and this particular chapter. Sure. So the Ronald McDonald House, our mission is to provide a home away from home for families with hospitalized children. Mm -hmm. We want to provide every, everything from a place to sleep to a nightly meal mm -hmm. so that they can feel at home even when they can't be. Yeah, and you're located right here inside of the hospital, um, close to all of the children and youth units. Yes. And so tell me what that means to families who um, may be at a sensitive state, knowing that they can stay locally mm -hmm. to be with their child. Right. So part of what we do is family-centered care. We want mm -hmm. to keep the parents and the rest of the family close to the child mm -hmm. because data shows that when the family is strong and together, the child heals quicker. Yeah. So our goal is not only to care for them and providing a bed, mm -hmm. but we also want to provide for all the different resources that they need. Yes, and so we're standing here inside of the kitchen. And first I have to say, when you walk in, it's so warm and cozy here. Like it really does yeah. feel like home. And you provide so many different um, services inside of this housing space. Right. So can you go over some of the um, areas that you have and what you provide here? Sure. So we provide everything from a bed to sleep in with a private room. Mm -hmm. We also provide laundry services, wow. a kindness kitchen with nightly meals. Mm -hmm. We also provide other programs, especially when families have needs outside of what we provide. Mm -hmm. So we have partnered with various charities within our community, yeah. like Community Connect, so that when families have needs that we can't provide for, mm -hmm. they can still get the resources they need before they ever would leave the Ronald McDonald House. Oh, wow. Very cool. Okay, I would love to take a tour. Yes. All right, come on. Let's go. <laughs> So Jen, what's so exciting is that this program is completely free to families. Right. So they're able to come and enjoy this house and the rooms and the food. So how right. does it work? Right. Families never receive a charge to stay at the Ronald McDonald House regardless of their length of stay. Mm -hmm. We are 100% community supported. So whether that be the meals that we provide, the bedding mm -hmm. that we have, or the games you know, in the toy room, yes. it is all provided by the community and generous donors. So Jen, share with me, if a family is interested in your services and staying yes. at the McDonald House, how do they get in contact with you? What's the okay. process? Yeah. So when families come to the hospital, we have a great connection with the nurses and the doctors at Parkview, mm -hmm. and they send referrals to us. That's okay. how we meet and get connected to the families. Mm -hmm. From there, they apply, and then we provide them a room if it's available. Mm -hmm. If they're not available at the time, then we provide them something called a day guest pass, okay. which means they can enjoy the house mm -hmm. from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day, mm -hmm. receive meals, mm -hmm. and still do laundry services as well. Wow, that's incredible. And so as we look around the house, I know we just came from the kitchen, and you all provide a meal every single night. We do. That is so incredible. And then food throughout the day. Yes. Okay, and then so what? So this area here is just a little dining room area that the families can come. They sure and can. And enjoy. Yes. Okay, and what else do we have around? So this is our common space, mm -hmm. and many families will gather here, whether as a family or whether they have visitors that come to the house. Mm -hmm. There's a game area, there's a TV area, mm -hmm. and we welcome also families to bring in their friends, whether it's their church members, mm -hmm. they wanna have some private time, or it's a great place for families who have like stories to commune together and support yeah. each other. Yeah, that's awesome, just to provide that circle of support for the child. It is. It's really important important mm -hmm. because a lot of parents feel alone mm -hmm. and when they meet another family then they're able to express that with them and feel like they've really been heard. Yeah that's so awesome and then you have a little Violet's Playhouse over here. Yes. So it really just accommodates kids of all ages. That's so incredible. 
Yes. So as we walk, what's back here? What are we walking into? So this is our guest space that we're okay. heading into. Mm -hmm. In this space, we have 16 private rooms. Wow. Families, we like to say, live with us. So we live with 16 families yes. all the time. In this space, we also have our laundry services, mm -hmm. which is available 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And you know, as you were talking about families never receive a charge, everything from even the soap, the laundry sheets are provided by the community. Wow. This is also a great place for families to come and go. We have a different section here for dining or for games. Mm -hmm. And then there is a kitchenette in the back that sustains families as well. So it is like a home. It looks like it a is. hotel. It is. It's exactly like a house. <laughs> yeah. As you we're know, walking. And it's exactly right. You know, we are a hotel service, but we're so much more than that yeah. because we want families to know that they are accepted and that no matter how long their child is in the hospital, that we are here to support them. Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. Well, I'd love to see one of the rooms. Absolutely. So room eight, this is you know example of one of our typical rooms. Uh -huh. All our rooms have different settings, just like a hotel, yes. whether it be um, two queen bed. beds, whether it be a queen and a twin bed. Mm -hmm. But this really represents where a family is primarily gonna stay when they're at the Ronald McDonald house. Okay. Each room is slightly different and the needs of each room is slightly different. Mm -hmm. So you know, you, like you mentioned with donations, whether that be the bedding or the pillows, mm -hmm. it's something that we're always going through and we're always in need of. Yes, and so what what type of organizations or businesses donate this type of stuff? Is it the public and they just go shop and give yeah. or is it businesses that actually provide these services? It's both. Okay. So we'll often put out a wish list mm -hmm. and then we have even past families, um, individuals that have experienced the Ronald McDonald House. Mm -hmm. We do partner with some businesses mm -hmm. that then donate the wish list items on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Look at this, it's so cozy in here, which is important. And then look at this, get a little bag and a little welcome towels. And it's just nicely set up and ready because the fact of the matter is when families come to the hospital, it's most of the time not anything that they exactly. really prepared That's for. Right. It may yeah. be an emergency. It's like, oh my right. goodness, we have to uproot our whole lives exactly. to be yeah. here. So. This really does provide a great service. It is. Yeah. You know, we serve about 75% NICU families. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do know, and sometimes they don't know that yeah. they'll be having a Ronald McDonald House stay. But then there's another 25% of families that do get that call mm -hmm. and immediately rush to the Ronald McDonald House. Mm -hmm. Our role is to provide everything that they need in case they can't go home. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So great, all right, let's keep looking. Sure. <laughs> Jen, thank you so much for the tour. Yes. <laughs> I really love seeing this facility. Like I said, it's so comfy and cozy yeah. for the family. And we have to talk about the 25th anniversary. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> it's so exciting. What does that mean to you all? Yeah. You know, it's it's amazing to think that 25 years ago, Ronald McDonald House Charities was born here in Northeast Indiana. Yeah. And it's been great to think about. We started with a family room mm -hmm. and now we're with a house, a care mobile and a family lounge. So we feel that we've been very blessed to serve Northeast Indiana over the years. Yes, and how will you celebrate? We're going to celebrate. We would love <laughs> to have people connect to us via social media. Yes. Every month we're going to have a fun story, a family video, or just really different fun facts that people may not know about our charity. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That sounds really exciting. And I have to ask you one thing yeah. though. <laughs> I know you offer food here. Is McDonald's a part of what you serve? Yeah, <laughs> great question. <laughs> You know, McDonald's is the founding partner to Ronald yeah. McDonald House Charities back in 1974. Mm -hmm. And although that we don't serve McDonald's food here, they're a very intricate part of what we do. Yes. You know, for example, individuals can help support the house when they go through McDonald's by rounding up the canisters, the change, it all stays local. So we would love mm -hmm. for individuals to support us through the McDonald's path as well. Yeah, okay, so it makes sense. When they like leave your change and they have the cans and round up, it goes here. It goes here locally. Yes, it does. What a reason to donate. Yes. That's so incredible to yeah. see where it goes. So that's so amazing. Um, I love what you all are doing. I love this facility. I love learning of something new here. And I hope our viewers really learned something about so the services that are yeah. offered and ways that they can participate yes. by donating and volunteering and yeah. all of that. Yes. So thank you, Jen. Yeah, thank you so I much. We loved it. having you here. Yeah. Thank you. If you would like more information about the Ronald McDonald House Charity, you can go to their website to donate, to give, and to just participate. And remember, it's their 25th anniversary. So head over to their social medias to learn more. 
and welcome to their home. This segment sponsored by Ronald McDonald House.